Yo, hello there, and welcome back to my fellow Pixel Loyalists, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel tutorial build on Team Seven's Eyes. And today we'll be doing part eight. And once again, we're going to be continuing on with Sasuke. And as you know, in the last part, we did quite a lot of Sasuke's hair and eyebrow. And in today's part, it's probably most likely going to be the final part, but we'll see about that. So, without further ado, let's get started straight away in today's blocks. So, once again, our black concrete and bookshelf, as per usual. And for today's area that we're going to be flying off to. We're going to be flying to the middle one sticking out to the right. So not the top one sticking out to the right, right here. Or the bottom one at the right there sticking out to the right. We're going to fly to the middle line that's right up here. So flying to this one right here. And there we go. And once you've flown to this one right here, make sure to go and hit that like button if you haven't already. It would be much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you find yourself coming back often, then make sure to go and hit that subscribe button as well. That would be much appreciated and helps out a lot. Now with that being said, Let's actually get on to the build. So from this one sticking out to the right, we're then going to place one going underneath, just like so. Once you place this one underneath, we're going to fly back up by one, so back up to this one right here. And then we're going to destroy this one right here, as we don't need that anymore. I just did that sticking out to the right earlier, just to make things a bit easier for when we end up here, to come back to. Now once you had destroyed that one sticking out to the right, we're going to fly back to the bottom right diagonal. And we're going to place four going underneath. So, one, two three and four and there we go and as you can see we should be looking like this so far once we've done this we're going to fly back to the underneath the four and do a bottom right diagonal from here and there we go once we've done this bottom right diagonal we're then going to place five going underneath from here so one two three four and five just like so once you place five going underneath we're going to place one going to the left, and then we're going to place one underneath, and then we're going to place another one to the left. Then once you place this one to the left, we're going to fly back into the right by one, so back to this bottom right corner, and we're then going to place one going to the right from here, just like so. Once you place this one to the right, we're then going to do bottom right diagonal. And there we go. As you can see, we should be looking like this so far. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to the bottom right diagonal, now once you're flying back to here, we're then going to place 7 going underneath from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And there we go. Once you place 7 going underneath, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And there we go. And then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place 6 underneath this time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And there we go. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place three going underneath this time. So one, two, and three. And from this third one you place underneath, we're then going to place two going to the left. So one and two. And then we're going to fly all the way back into the right. So back to this bottom right corner, right here. And once you're flying back to this bottom right corner, we're then going to place six going underneath from here. So one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Just like so. Once you place six going underneath, we're then going to place one going to the right. And from this one you place to the right, we're then going to place four underneath. So one, two, three, and four. As you can see, that fourth one should connect on top of this black concrete line right here. And from this fourth one you place underneath, we're then going to place seven going to the left from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. As you can see, we should connect to this one sticking out to the right, right here. And then we're going to fly all the way back into the right. So back to this one right here. So back to the fourth one that we placed underneath. And we're then going to place one to the right. Just like so. So we should be looking like that so far. Once we've done that and placed that one to the right, we then want to fly back up to this upper right corner right here. So from that four that we placed going underneath, which makes it five in total when you could that one sticking out to the right, we're going to fly back up to that upper right corner. So this right corner right here, as you can see, I've just placed a bookshelf so you can see where we're flying back to. Flying back to that point right there. So we're flying back into towards here. So then, once you have flown back to this upper right corner, we're then going to place three going up from here. So one, two, and three, just like so. Once you place three going up, we're then going to do an upright diagonal. Now from this upright diagonal, we're going to place two on top from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you place two going up, we're then going to do an upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place one to the right, 
We're going to fly back into the left by one, so back to this one right here. And so we're then going to place one on top. Once you place this one on top, we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we placed to the right. So back to this one right here. And so we're then going to place another three and going to the right from here. So one, two, and three. Once you place three going to the right, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal. Just like so. And then we're going to place one to the right. And then there we go. Once you've done this, we're going to zoom out. And fly back to the one sticking up right here. So fly back towards this one right here. Once you fly back towards here, we're then going to place another eight going up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like so. Once you place eight going up, we're then going to do an upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place two on top. So one and two. And the second one you place on top, we're going to then place one to the right. And then we're going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place two going up from here. So one and two. Just like so. Once you place these two on top. We're going to do an upright diagonal. Then from this upright diagonal. We're then going to place four on top of here. So one, two, three and four. Just like so. Once you've done this. We're then going to do another upright diagonal. And there we go. From this upright diagonal, we're then going to place two on top, so one and two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, just like so. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place six on top. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there we go. Once you place six on top, we're then going to do another upright diagonal. Then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place four on top. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And there we go. From this upright diagonal, we're then going to place three on top this time. So one, two, and three. Once you place this three on top, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place four on top. So one, two, three, and four. Once you place four on top, we're then going to place one to the right. And then we're going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place... 14 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And there you go. As you can see, that 14 you place to the left should have connected that one stick onto the right, right there. That's everything done so far, right there. So then, once you've done all of this, we're now going to fly all the way back up to the top. Back up to the top one sticking onto the right, right here. So flying all the way back to this one right here. So then, once you're flying back to this one stick onto the right, right here, we're then going to place another 16 going to the right from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And there you go. Once you place 16 going to the right, we're then going to place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back up by one. So, back up to this upright corner. And we're then going to place one to the right. And from this one you place to the right, we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we placed underneath right here. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place another one going underneath from here. And there we go. And as you can see, we should have like two sticking underneath in total so far. Once we've done this, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. Just like so. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. And there we go. Once we've done this, we'll do another bottom right diagonal. And then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place another one underneath, just like so. Once we've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two underneath this time. So one and two. And there we go. Now once we've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. Just like so. And then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. From this one you place underneath, we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal. Just like so. Then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to fly back to the right by one. So back to this bottom right corner. And we're then going to place one underneath. Just like so. Once you place this one underneath, we're then going to zoom out. And fly back to the one that's sticking out to the left right here. So back to this one right here. Once you're flying back towards here, we're then going to place another two. Going to the left from here. So one and two. Just like so. Once you place this two to the left, we're then going to do a bottom left diagonal. 
And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left, just like so. Then we're going to the another bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left, just like so. Then we're going to the another bottom left diagonal. This time, we're going to place two to the left, so one and two. And there we go, we should be looking like that right there. Once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And this time, we're going to place two to the left again, so one and two, just like so. We're then going to do another bottom left diagonal. And this time, we're going to place one going to the left. And there we go. Once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And then we're going to place another one going to the left, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. This time we're going to place two to the left, so one and two. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And then this time we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And then finally but not least, we're going to place two going to the left. So one and two, just like so. Once you place this two to the left, as you can see it should connect to the middle of this three, right here. And once you have placed that second one going to the left, that connected to the middle of this three, we're then going to place one on top of that second one you place to the left, just like so. And then we're going to place one to the right. And then we're going to place one on top, just like so. And for this one you place on top, we're going to do it a right diagonal, just like so. So we should be looking like that so far in that area. So as you can see, once you've done this, we're going to fly back to that upright diagonal. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place two to the right. So one and two, just like so. We're then going to do another upright diagonal, place another two to the right, so one and two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. This time we're going to place one to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and we're going to place two to the right this time, so one and two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then we're going to place another two to the right, so one and two, just like so. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then we're going to place another two to the right, so one and two, just like so. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. This time we're going to place one to the right. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place three going to the right. So one, two, and three. And there you go, as you can see that third one you place to the right, should connect to the left of that third one right here, and then underneath this two right here as well. So we should be looking like this so far. Once you've done this, we're then going to fill in inside these gaps right here. So this is, once again, is the eyebrow exactly the same as that side over there. We're just going to fill in in between those two lines. And there we go. So that's what you should be looking like that right there. Once you've done all of that and you are finished with that area, for the next area that we're going to fly back to, we're going to fly all the way back over to the one that's sticking underneath right here. So flying back towards this one right here. Once we've flown back towards here, we're going to place another one going underneath from here, just like so. Now from the second one you place underneath, we're going to place one going to the right, and then we're going to place one underneath, and then we're going to fly back up by one, so back up to this upright corner, and we're then going to place another one on top, just like so. And then we're going to place one to the right, and then once you place this one to the right, we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one sticking underneath right here. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place another one going underneath from here, just like so. Now from the second one you place underneath, we're then going to place one to the right. And we're going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this bottom left corner. And we're then going to place another one underneath. And from this one you place underneath, we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to the middle one right here. And then once you're flying back up to here, we're then going to place 7 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And there we go. Should be looking like that so far. From that 7 you just place to the left, we're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. Just like so. From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place 3 going to the left this time. So 1, 2, and 3. And there we go. Once you place that 3 to the left, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal, just like so. From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left, so one and two. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal, just like so. From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left this time. And there we go. Once you've done this, we're now going to repeat this two here, 
two more times going in a bottom left diagonal direction so do bottom left diagonal place one to the left that's one do another bottom left diagonal place the one to the left and that's two and there you go as you can see there should be three of those twos there in total going in a bottom left diagonal direction so one two and three and if you got three of them fly back towards the end one so back to this one right here once you're flying back towards the end one right here we're then going to do seven bottom left diagonals from here so one two three four five six and seven and there you go and that seventh bottom left diagonal we're then going to place one underneath and as you can see that one you place underneath connect should connect in a bottom left diagonal direction to this one sticking out to the right and if it does that means we've done everything correctly so far right here so once we've done this we're now going to fly all the way back over to the right back over to this area right here and once you've back over to this area right here for the area that we're going to go off right here we're going to go off the top one sticking out to the right so not the very top line in this line right here so we've got this one sticking out to the right right here for that like two by two square and we're going to be flying to that one right there so i'll place a bookshelf and that's the one we're going off right there sticking out to the right so essentially you could say the middle line so not that one there or not that one there this one right here so flying back towards this one sticking out to the right right here we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here just like so from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place two underneath so one and two just like so that second one you place underneath we're going to place one to the right and then we're going to place two underneath so one and two we're then going to place one to the left and we're going to fly back and to the right by one so back to this bottom right corner and we're then going to place one underneath once you place this one underneath we're going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we just placed to the left so back to this one right here and once you're flying back to here we're then going to place five going to the left from here so one two three four and five and there we go it should be looking like this so far once you've done this we're going to fly back to that five that we placed to the left so back to the here and then we're going to place one going underneath from this one you place underneath we're then going to place five going to the left from here so one two three four and five just like so and then we're going to place one underneath and then we're going to place two to the left so one and two just like so and then we're going to place another one underneath and from this one you place underneath we're then going to place three to the left so one two and three and from this third one you place to the left we're then going to do nine bottom left diagonals from here so one two three four five six seven eight and nine and there you go from this ninth bottom left diagonal we're going to place one going to the right just like so from this one you place to the right we're then going to place one underneath and from this one you place underneath we're going to fly back up by one so back up to the middle one right here once you're flying back up to here we're then going to do two right diagonals so one and two just like so from the second upright diagonal we're going to place one to the right and then we're going to place one underneath and then we're going to fly back up by one so back up to this upright corner and we're then going to place one on top once you place this one on top we're then going to do five upright diagonals from here so one two three four and five just like so and there we go once we've done this fifth upright diagonal we're then going to place one to the right and there we go we've done that part right there so we're going to zoom out so we should be looking like this so far once we've done this we're then going to fly all the way back down in the bottom left diagonal direction to this area right here where we've got the one sticking underneath and the one to the left and we're going to fly to the one that's sticking up to the left first so back to this one right here once you're flying back to here we're then going to do two bottom left diagonals so one and two just like so from the second bottom left diagonal we're going to place one underneath and there we go once you place that one underneath we're going to do another bottom left diagonal and there we go we're done with that part right there so we're then going to fly to the one sticking underneath so not this one right here where we did the upright diagonals just this one right here where we place one to the right like one underneath so to this one right here and once you've flown to this one sticking underneath right here we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from this bottom left diagonal we're going to place one underneath just like so so we should be looking like this so far 
and then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal and from this bottom left diagonal we're going to place another one underneath just like so and then we're going to do two bottom left diagonals so one and two and there we go from that second bottom left diagonal we're going to place one underneath and then we're going to do a bottom right diagonal and from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place one to the right just like so and once you place this one to the right we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal just like so and from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place one to the right and then we're going to place one on top and we're going to fly underneath by one so back down to this bottom right corner and we're going to place one to the right and there we go once you place this one to the right we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that you place on top and we're then going to do an up left diagonal just like so and from this up left diagonal we're going to place two on top so one and two and there you go as you can see that two place on top right there so you're connecting the up left diagonal direction to this two right here so we've got like these two twos right here and it's connected in the up left diagonal direction to the bottom of the second two going down so once you have connected to there we're going to zoom out and fly back to the one sticking out to the right right here so back to this one right here once you're flying back to this one sticking out to the right right here we're then going to place another five going to the right from here so one two three four and five just like so once you place five going to the right we're then going to place one on top and we're going to fly underneath by one so back down to the bottom right corner and we're then going to place one to the right and there we go once you place this one to the right we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that's on top right here and we're then going to do an up left diagonal just like so from this up left diagonal we're going to place one on top and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and from this up left diagonal we're going to place another one on top just like so and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and this time we're going to place four on top so one two three and four as so you can see that fourth one you place on top should connect underneath this one that we're sticking underneath right here and if it does that means we've done everything correctly so far so we're going to zoom out and fly all the way back to this one sticking out to the right so back to this one right here once you're flying back towards here we're then going to do bottom right diagonal just like so and from this bottom right diagonal we're then going to place nine and going to the right from here so one two three four five six seven eight and nine just like so once you place nine to the right we're then going to place one on top and then we're going to fly underneath by one so back down to this bottom right corner and we're then going to place one to the right once you place this one to the right we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that you placed on top once you're flying back to here we're then going to place another one on top and then we're going to place one to the right and once you place this one to the right we're then going to fly back into the left by one so back to this up left corner and we're then going to place one on top and then we're going to place one to the left and then we're going to place one underneath and if we're on this one you place underneath we're going to place three going to the left so one two and three once you place this three to the left we're then going to do an up left diagonal just like so if we're on this up left diagonal we're going to place one to the left and there we go once you've done this we're going to do two up left diagonals so one and two and there we go from the second up left diagonal we're going to place one on top just like so and then we're going to do another up left diagonal this time we're going to place two on top so one and two just like so once you place this two on top we're then going to take out our bookshelf and then with our bookshelf we're going to place two bookshelves going to the right from here so one and two just like so once you place those two bookshelves going to the right we're then going to place one black concrete going to the right and then we're going to place one going underneath just like so if one is one you place underneath we're going to do bottom right diagonal in front of this bottom right diagonal we're going to place one to the right and we're going to fly back to the left by one so back to this one right here and we're then going to do bottom left diagonal just like so once in this bottom left diagonal we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we place to the right so back to this one right here and we're then going to place one underneath and there we go once you place that one underneath we're going to do another bottom right diagonal and from this bottom right diagonal we're then going to place five and going to the right this time so one two three four and five just like so once you place this five to the right we're then going to do an upright diagonal on this upright diagonal we're going to place one on top 
Then we get to place one to the right. The first one you place to the right, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal. And for this bottom right diagonal, we're going to fly back in the up left diagonal direction by one. So back to the one where we just placed to the right and did a bottom right diagonal from. And we're then going to do an up right diagonal from here. And there we go. Once we've done this up right diagonal, we're going to place five on top this time. So one, two, three, four, and five. Just like so. And then once you place this five on top, we're going to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. Just like so. And from this third up left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left. So one and two. Just like so. For the second one you place to the left, we're then going to place one underneath. Just like so. Then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And the front is when you place on top. We're then going to place one to the left, and then we're going to fly back and to the right by one. So back to this one right here, and we're then going to place one on top, just like so. When there's one you place on top, we're then going to do an upright diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you've done an upright diagonal, we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we placed to the left. So back to this one right here. Once you've flown back to this one that we placed to the left right here, we're then going to place another one given to the left from here, just like so. So there's like two sticking on to the left in total. And once we've done this, we're going to do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. And there you go. From the second bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place one underneath. Just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And then from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two underneath this time. So one and two. Just like so. And as you can see that two you place underneath. So we connect back to this one that was right here. That we placed to the right of the bookshelves right here. So there should be five black concrete in total right there. And once we have done this, we're going to destroy those two bookshelves. And we're going to zoom out. And we're going to fly all the way back to the one they place over here. So this one's sticking up to the right, right here. So not the bottom line, this upper top line right here. And we're going to fly into this one right here. And once we're flying back over to this one, we're going to place three going to the right from here. So one, two, and three are just like so. Once you place that three to the right, we're then going to do four upright diagonals. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. From this fourth upright diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And there we go. Once you place that one on top, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're then going to place five on top this time. So one, two, three, four, and five. Just like so. This time we're going to do an up left diagonal. Just like so. From this up left diagonal we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place two to the right. So one and two. Once you place this two to the right we're then going to fly all the way back to the left. So back to this up left corner right here. And we're then going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And as you can see, we should be looking like that right there. And then flying back to that second up left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And this time we're going to place four going to the left. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And then we're going to do bottom left diagonal this time. And there we go. From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one going to the left, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And then we're going to place another one to the left. Just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. This time from this bottom left diagonal. We're going to place two underneath. So one and two. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to the left. Once you place this one to the left. We're then going to zoom out. And fly to this bottom left corner of the two stick underneath right here. So as you can see these two sticking underneath right here, we're going to be flying to the bottom left corner, so to this one right here. But once you've flown to this one right here, we're then going to do bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two underneath. So one and two. Once you place these two underneath, we're then going to take our bookshelf and place two bookshelves going underneath from here. So one and two. And as you can see those two bookshelves that you place underneath should connect back on top of this three right here that we previously did. And if it does, that means you've done everything correctly so far. So we're then going to go and destroy those two bookshelves. 
and then once you destroy those two bookshelves, we're then going to fly to the two sticking underneath right here. So inside the centre of the eye, we just want to do the centre piece right here. So we want to fly to this two sticking underneath right here on top, which is the easiest area to go off. And we're going to fly to the left of the two. So this one right here, we're going to go off. So in line with the one on top as well. And from one here, with our bookshelf, we're going to place two going underneath from here. So one and two, just like so. So we should be looking like that right there. Once you place these two bookshelves going underneath, we're going to take out our black concrete. And we're going to place one black concrete going underneath the two bookshelves. Just like so. And once you've done this, we're then going to place one going to the right. When it's one you place to the right, we're then going to place one underneath. And then we're going to place one to the right. And then we're going to place one underneath. And then we're going to place one to the left. The front is one you place to the left. We're going to place one underneath. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to the right. And there you go. So there you go. As you can see, it should have like a plus sign, but a thickened plus sign. So it's like two, two and two. And then inside should be like a two by two square. And basically just fill it in. But obviously, we did it a bit different. Now, once you have done that symbol and filled that eyepiece right there, we're going to go and destroy those two bookshelves. And we're going to fly all the way back down to the bottom of the eye, to this one sticking out to the right, right here. So flying back to this one right here. And once you're flying back to here, we're then going to place eight going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like so. Once you place eight going to the right, we're then going to do an upright diagonal. On this upright diagonal, we're going to place one to the right. And then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to the right. And then we're going to place another one on top. And from this one you place on top, we're going to fly underneath by one. So back down to this bottom right corner. And place one to the right. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're then going to fly back to the one that we place on top. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to do an upright diagonal. Just like so. From this upright diagonal, we're then going to place two on top. So one and two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 8 on top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Once it places 8 on top, we're then going to do an up left diagonal, just like so. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place 1 on top. And there we go. Once we place 1 on top, we're then going to do 3 up left diagonals from here. So 1, 2, and 3, just like so. For this third up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. We're going to fall underneath by one, so back down to this one right here. And we're then going to place two going to the left, so one and two. We're then going to place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back up by one, so back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place one on top, just like so. And then once you place this one on top, we're then going to zoom out from here. And we're going to fly all the way back down to the one sticking out to the right. So back down to this one right here. Once you're flying back down to this one sticking out to the right right here, we're then going to do four upright diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And from this fourth upright diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place one to the right, just like so. Then we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to fly underneath by one, so back down to this bottom right corner. And then once you're flying back down to this bottom right corner, we're then going to place 18 going underneath from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And as you can see that 18 you place going underneath right there, should so connect to that one that was sticking up right there. If it does, that means you've done everything correctly so far, because as you can see it's in line, and it also connects underneath in total. So, we're going to fly to this one sticking out to the left first. And once we've flown to here, we're just going to place all the way to the left. As we already know that we've done everything correctly, so we don't need to count. So we're just going to go all the way to the left, so we hit that one sticking out to the right. And there we go. Once you've done that, we're then going to fly all the way back to the one sticking out to the right, right here. Once again, we do know we've gone already correctly, but just to make sure for this side, to make sure we are totally in line, we're just going to count. So we're just going to count 14 going to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And as you can see, once again, as I said, you are in line right there. 
we just count it just to make sure. Now with that note being said, we're going to zoom out and fly back to the one that's on top right here. So back to this one right here. Once we've flown back to this one on the top right here, we're then going to place another 9 going up from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And there we go. Once you place 9 on top, we're then going to place 1 to the left. And then once you place this 1 to the left, we're then going to place 1 on top. Then we're going to place 1 to the right. And then we're going to place 2 on top. So 1 and 2. And for the second one you place on top, we're going to place 1 to the left. And then we're going to fly back and turn the right by one. So back to this right corner. Then we're going to place one top. Once you place this one top, we're going to fly back to the one that we place to the left. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place another one to the left. And for this one you place to the left, we're going to place one underneath. Then we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this up left corner. And we're then going to place two going to the left from here. So one and two. So we should be looking like that so far. Once you've done that, we're going to fly back to the two stick out to the left. And we're going to do an up left diagonal. And there we go. From this up left diagonal, we're then going to place 4, going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, and 4, just like so. And once you place this fourth one to the left, we're then going to do an up left diagonal. And there you go. So once you do this up left diagonal, we're then going to place 2 going up from here. So 1 and 2. And we're then going to place 1 to the right. Once you place this 1 to the right, we're going to fly back to the left by 1. So back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place 5 going up from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just like so. And then we're going to do an upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 2 on top. So 1 and 2. We're then going to place 1 to the right. And then once you place this 1 to the right, we're then going to fly back to the left by 1. So back to this upper left corner. And we're then going to place 5 going up from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you place 5 on top, we're then going to do an upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 3 on top this time. So 1, and 2, and 3, just like so. Then we're going to place 1 to the right. Then we're going to fly back into the left by 1. So back to this up left corner. And we're then going to place 11 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. As you can see, that 11th one you place to the left should connect to this one sticking up to the right, right there. And that's that hair strip done right there. So we're then going to fly all the way over to this one sticking up to the right to complete the final lush area, or the final hair strip, you could say. And once you have flown over to here, we're going to place another 6 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're then going to place 1 underneath. Then we're going to fly back up by 1, so back up to this upright corner. Then we're going to place one to the right, and then we're going to fly back to the one that we placed underneath right here. Now once you've flown back to this one stick underneath right here, we're then going to place six going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you place six underneath, we're then going to place one to the left. Then we're going to fly back to the right by one, so back to this bottom right corner, and we're then going to place one underneath. Once you place this one underneath, we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that we placed to the left. So back to this one right here, and once you fly back to this one, you place to the left. We're then going to place one on top, and then once you place this one on top, we're going to fly underneath by one. So back down to this one right here, and we're then going to place three going to the left. So one, two, and three, just like so. Then we're going to place one underneath. When this one you place underneath, we're going to place two to the left. So one and two, and we're then going to place one underneath. Then we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this left corner and place one to the left. And there we go. As you can see, we should be looking like that right there. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to the one sticking underneath. So back to this one right here. And once you're flying back to here, we're then going to place six going underneath here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you place six going underneath, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place three underneath. So one, two, and three. When it's third one you place underneath, we're then going to place one to the left. Then we're going to fly back into the right by one. So back down to this bottom right corner. And we're going to place one underneath. Once you place this one underneath, we're going to fly back up to the one that we place to the left. So back to this one right here. And we're going to place number four going to the left from here. So one, two, three, and four. Just like so. Once you place that four to the left, 
we're going to do an up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left. So one and two. As you can see, that two to place to the left should connect to that one stick, not to the right, right there. That means you're never incorrectly going down here as well, because as you can see, that one we place underneath also should connect to that one that was sticking up right there. So there's a two gap right there. Now, once we have done this for the final area, we're going to fly all the way back up to this one stick out to the right. And once you've flown to this one sticking out to the right, we're then going to place 15 and going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once you place this 15 to the right, we're then going to place one on top. And then we're going to fly underneath by one, so back down to the bottom right corner. I'm going to take out our bookshelf and we're just going to go all the way underneath just to make sure we're in line with the very edge. We're just going to go all the way down with our bookshelf. And there we go. As you can see we went all the way down and we are in line. And what does that mean? Once again that means we've done everything correctly so far. And that is Sasuke complete there. So we're going to go and destroy this bookshelf and have a look at what we've done so far. There we go. Now we're going to zoom out. So as you can see, this design was definitely a lot more simpler than Sakura. Still takes probably, well, definitely not just as long, but it definitely did take quite long. And that's because of the eyes. Other than that, though, definitely was a lot easier. Now with that being said, that is everything for Sasuke complete. So in the next part, or the next build, essentially, we'll be doing and moving on to the Naruto build. Then obviously after we finish Naruto, we'd then be moving on to Kakasuke, and then after that, we'd be moving on to the Shaden Inn. So with that note being said, that is the end of today's build so far. If you have enjoyed this build so far and think this build looks awesome, then make sure to go and hit that like button if you enjoyed it so far. And feel free to go and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and you find yourself coming back often. It's completely for free and it helps out a lot. Now with that being said, I will see you in the next one. So peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.